Right now, crews are cleaning up after a car crashed into two homes in Mira Mesa. And police are saying the driver lost control. There is new surveillance video here at this 11 o'clock hour that shows the moments before the crash. CBS 8's Chris Grow live at the scene. That car, uh, they haven't been able to move it yet. Chris, what's going on there now? Yeah, actually, in fact, we've got uh, city inspectors that are here right now, obviously taking a look at the uh, structural integrity and kind of doing their job here. So that'll be that'll be the next step in all of this, especially deciding when they can move that car. Of course, that white Lexus sedan has been there since 7 p.m. or so yesterday evening. Now take a look at this. This is actually some surveillance footage that shows a couple of the uh, moments here leading up to this crash. In fact, you can see that white Lexus sedan trying to parallel park just across the street from where we are right now before for some reason after hitting backing into a truck then speeds forward and slams not into just one but two homes here wrecking both garages. Now, the reason why we bring this up, of course, is because uh, we were told initially by first responders on scene by San Diego Fire Rescue that this was due potentially to environmental factors like the rain. But in that video, uh, it does again, it does appear to not be actively raining at the time. Of course, roads could have still been slick from some past rain. So that, of course, is a question. And we are asking both police and fire if they have seen that video and if this crash is still under investigation for potentially, again, what led up to this person uh, hitting the gas and driving through into both of these homes. Now, the good news is that no one was hurt, but as one neighbor told us, it, it was a close call considering the fact he was about to send his daughter over to one of these homes to say thank you. We were gonna have our daughter walk down because she had just gotten a thank you card or, or they had sent Tara a, a you know, a, a thank you, you know, not a thank you card. She was going to say thank you because they had sent her a card for graduation last year and she was going to walk down and, and say thank you. And I'm glad she didn't walk down, honestly, you know. <laughs> And the man that you just heard from there also saw that moment when the car trying to back up hit a pickup truck just beyond where we are right now. Saw it speed away, didn't see the impact of it hitting the home, but heard the boom and told us several people came out, called 911. Again, trying to make sure that everyone was okay. So no one was injured. The woman was able to be taken out once first responders get here. Of course, if we do hear from either police or fire about potentially what led up to this crash, the circumstances, and maybe if the theory has changed at all, we'll be sure to let you know. Eric Anetta.